Men of Israel! Choose a man for yourselves and let him come down to me. If he kills me, then we will be your servants. But <laughs> if I kill him, you will be our servants. I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. this giant? His name is Goliath, and he has been mocking the God of Israel for forty days, both morning and evening. And what shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine? David, that's enough of your silly questions. Why did you come here anyway? Because Father told me to Don't come blame it on Father. You wanted to see some blood, didn't you? No! You can't fool me. I know the wickedness of your heart. David, King Saul wishes to speak with you. King Saul? Now you'll get what's coming to you, little brother. Oh, no! I'll go with you, David. Thanks, Richard, but I must go alone. What will the king do to him? I wish I knew, Pixie. But what did David do wrong? Nothing, Peanut. Poor David. Look! He's coming out of the king's tent! David, thank the Lord you're still alive. Of course I'm still alive. Did he hurt you? No. Well, what did he say? He said he'd pray that the Lord would be with me. Why'd he say that? Because I'm gonna need his prayers. What? I'm going to fight Goliath. David, you can't be serious. You don't have a chance. He's three times your size. Remember, Richard, the Lord is my shepherd. Wait a minute, just chill out, cool off, settle down. I feel very calm. I don't believe this. Look around you, there's a whole army of experienced soldiers here and none of them are fool enough to take on Goliath. Maybe that's because God wants me to do it. David, David, listen to me. You're not a soldier, you're a shepherd and I care about you. Just be a normal kid. I don't want to be normal. I want to make a difference. But why do you always have to be the one shaking things up and pushing the limits? Richard, the Lord wants me to serve him with my whole heart and I'm gonna give him everything I've got. 